Are you going to help me clean the lenses and the sensors? <laughs> G'day, how you going? So we're going to talk about cleaning the sensor, the lenses and also pixel, dead pixels which can happen on the pixels and how you can fix that. So a few of the last photos I've noticed that there's gunk and crap all over the I thought it was the lens but it's actually not the lens some gunk on my lens look at all these spots so it looks like I've sneezed on the lens it looked like someone sneezed on the bloody lens so and then but when I started changing all the lenses and cleaning and everything someone said on YouTube no it's your um, it's your sensor so I thought oh shit here we go um, but it's not that bad it, um, it's not the end of the world cleaning the sensor um, it's not a big operation or anything Nurse, scalpel. So to check for the dust on the sensor, you can take a, say set your aperture at F22 to make the hole the smallest. Put it on manual focus put it out of focus and then take a photo of something white like a wall or the sky or like a sheet of white paper and then you can zoom around on the computer and you'll see um, the spots and where they are so this is how to clean the sensor take your lens off and you can inspect it and you can even see if there's dirt or you know water spots or whatever the first thing you got to do is get a, yourself a, uh, a blower I have no idea what this is I found it but it's awesome and it blows in and out um, and it's also got a filter on the end there and then you've got to face it upside down and um, it's it's probably best to buy the real one I mean but this is good enough just give it a good And that's just going to blow. This is really powerful. So then you need some sort of cleaning kit. So I got this one. It's called Micro Four Thirds VS Go. That's who they are. Comes with a heap of these uh, stick pads and the uh, the solution. I mean, it's probably I don't know what it is. It's probably ninety five percent water, a bit of alcohol. I don't know what it is, but that's the solution. Because you're mucking around with the sensor, use the right. Now online, there's two types. There's the micro four thirds and then there's the full frame. The only difference is the size of the tip. It's the size of that tip there. That's the only difference because the, the sensor is smaller. So all you got to do is just uh, dab some on here, not too much. On the sensor, just wipe down, wipe up, wipe down. It's just cleaning it. So... And I read a lot of, and a few people have told me it's pretty resilient, the um, sensor. It's like I've got a, I think it's got glass over the top of it. It's not 100% the exact same size as the Micro Four Thirds. So you might have to just, you know, you know just be gentle and you'll, you'll figure it out. So one thing, um, take the battery out. Someone, I read somewhere, someone said to do that. Something about the image stabilization. I don't know. Cleaning lenses, you could probably use the same fluid. I mean, what's the difference? Um, you know, clean like that. But I just use the normal, the cloth that you get with your sunnies, you know. I don't know, some people don't think that this is, what's the difference? I mean, I use my shirt sometimes. If I'm out there, I just use my shirt. Obviously, you know, if you've got some coarse material on your shirt, then, you know, don't, don't use that. You know, always carry one of these around and just clean your lens. Now, you would not believe it, but on my other EM10, there's heaps of dead pixels. Now, it's not the end of the world, but um, there's a way around it. So I'll show you inside the menu. There's a thing that you can fix it with. And what it does is it's called pixel mapping. 
and what that does is it'll find those dead pixels and then it'll turn them off and then it'll do something in the computer to the pixel next to it it'll use that so because the because it's so close you know and the pixels are so small you wouldn't even notice that the pixel next to it is the same as the, um, is, is replacing the dead pixel. Now the way to identify dead pixels that you'll see that they're like red greenish. It's like on your on your monitor when you remember when you used to get dead pixels on your monitor. I mean you still do. You'll see red and green or white. Um, there you go. Both cameras brand new again. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Water, I don't know, probably got glycerin or something.